So today we're going to be doing all of the Fortress levels remade as part of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii remake project by Jason. This one's kind of hard for them to replicate because it uses moving blocks and you can put stuff on tracks in this game sure but you can't have like full-on gigantic blocks on tracks which is a shame and that makes levels like this just not really work so they have blasters moving up and down which works quite well but as you can see the sideways ones that's all you got in Mario Maker. Obviously, we'll go for the key coins because key coins are very epic. Okay, so this part was weird. It was like a weird attempt to make the uh, moving platforms back and forth. Um, did it work? Uh, no, not really, but I, I respect it. And again, that's an interesting take on the roulette block again. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with it. There's no one of mushrooms. And also, this was made before with the coupling update. So yeah, uh, it's just a Wing Bowser Jr. because the coupling update wasn't made when this came out. Unfortunate, but there we go. <laughs> Here we are going into Two Dutch Tower, and as you can see, we have uh, vines because chain link fences don't exist. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, okay, so this is the rotating uh, platform that no longer rotates. One thing I don't like about these remakes is like when they try and have a door because there's a door in the original level or a pipe because there's a pipe in the original level, but then it just leads you going through a door or a pipe on the other end. Like just put that entrance in the first place. I just put pipes here. You know, it's not going to be 100% accurate. It may as well make it function good. Okay, and this was the uh, roulette block. I don't really like what they've been doing for the roulette blocks in this remake pack, but you know what? You do what you gotta do. It's down to everyone's interpretation. I would personally have just added one power up of like my. Ch I didn't mean to do that. One power up of my choice rather than spitting out a million at once because you don't get to choose kind of like almost like a randomizer. But continuing up on our adventure now, um, I don't think they're gonna have the uh, Roy's magic balls shooting. They wouldn't be able to make that happen, unfortunately. Going through a pipe. Again, why didn't you just put a door? It's a door in the original too. Ooh, a 30 coin. Nice, nice, nice. In the original, you'd hit a pow and a bunch of coins would fall down there. Yep, they're still there. And I guess they re reached the vertical limit or something? I'm not sure. And okay, this one was made after the update, so we have Roy. So we, we oh god, of course this isn't quite Mario Wii, you know. It's Mario Maker. Roy behaves a little differently in this one. You made of Super Mario Bros. Wii, don't we all? Oh, hello! That is a lovely quag! We always approve of those quag sires in our life. Oh, this is interesting. So normally, you know, you'd go this way, and I guess they have that bridge you can wall jump to it. And then cool kids would do a little shortcut around here, which is now kind of like the default route almost. This is really beautiful. I love how they seem to have just redone a lot of this. Yeah, the decoration for this level is stunning. This is definitely the best uh, remake we've seen so far. Oh yeah, there's the door down there. Oh, and we have this for the ball and chain. They just have a spike ball going around on track. I think it would have been worth maybe making it a double or something because let's be honest it's not really much of a threat. Not sure what the door's for yet. Oh is it like in case you miss these? I'm not sure. But now for the horrible part and then it seems they've abandoned the vertical level. Looks like they ran out of space or something. Oh yeah they have to spring the uh, balls back and forth because they don't bounce off the walls in Mario Maker. Also I'm really good at the game. Let's chat out again. A bit less psyching this time. At least that, that's the aim. Don't get crushed by that. Mario Wii levels are too wide to just fit on like uh, with school stop. Still overall even though they had to make some sacrifices to make it work I think they did a good job at like, converting everything and making the most of what they have. Hello Lemmy, how you doing buddy? Quaggers. <laughs> I like this person. That's a major quag side moment if I do say so myself. Alright, so I guess here we're gonna have uh, probably build blasters to replicate the metal blocks. Yeah, there's the build blasters. Whoop! Got the like, conveyor belts just like in the original and they're gonna head up this pipe. So obviously, I, well I assume these aren't gonna be like uh, infinitely respawning. No, they're not. So we can run out of blasters. Yeah, we've already run out of blasters. That would have been a way to do it infinitely, but it would be so janky and it's good that they prioritized, you know, 
making the level feel like a Mario level than trying to make a complicated contraption. And propeller suit, oh yeah, because that's normally propeller blocks here. So they put propeller suits, that's actually awesome. And this is where like the mini mushroom section is. I I'm glad they kept this in. And they uh, made it a little bit less of a run runway to make it still challenging to get up. But obviously there's no mini mushroom that they could have brought in the first place. And there's still the hidden coins over here at night. These remakes, th these last few remakes have been really good. I'm liking these a lot. All right, it's windy time. And yeah, this is a pretty basic remake of the, of the fight. There's not much they really could have done with it. Oh, look at the quag. Oh, and they have grinders neck. I'm really good. Yeah, that's the quag, dude. I think they do usually go different speeds, so there's nothing they can do about that. Honestly, this workaround is pretty good. And this is horizontal now, I think, so it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna have a lot of doors here. Ooh, I wanna get that. I wanna get this very much. Honestly, the workarounds for, for, by this creator have been amazing. I'm very impressed by this creator. I might check out some of the other levels if they have some non-remakes. Here we are. We're at the Iggy battle, and again, the platforms work pretty much like they normally normally would. Bowser Jr., what was that? Also, no Iggy, question mark. Ah, this is quite clever. They're gonna have little mini, mini challenge sections. Okay. Oh my god, they've really adapted this level. Yes, this level speaks to me. Oh my god, this is my favorite one by far. We're playing a remake where instead of trying and failing to remake Whooper, <laughs> thank you to Zombie, instead of failing to remake the main level concept and just making a janky mess, they've taken the layout of the level and adapted it into something new that does work. I love remakes like this. Using the sideways skewers to make the same sort of feel as the main one going up and down the course is just so clever. And this one's gonna be um, pretty similar. The only thing that's gonna be different is the skewers are gonna be synced, which are not in the original. There we go. Nailed it. That was awesome. Now this is intriguing, nice quags, I like the quags. I'm wondering why they didn't use a seesaw, because it's originally a tilt lift. I guess uh, the level design will just work, oh okay, I'm really good. Sew us a quag? <laughs> Hang on, I'll obtain a quag for you surely. Oh, the one way is to just stop you standing on top of the blasters. Top 10 clevers of the world, number 10, probably this. This is one of the most clevers I've ever seen. If I was to like count, really count them, you know? I, I feel like there should be a few more bullet bills because they're making me wait for longer than in the original. I guess they gave up on the one ways or hit an item limit or something. I'm, I'm looking here, it's safer. Oh god, it's the bonsai. <laughs> there he is, he's chilling. Of course, there aren't bonsai blasters, so... And this is where there's bombs. Oh, that's clever. Almost as clever as that, that maneuver. You know, we might be able to save this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's meant to be the brown blocks. Yeah, no, that's a no from me, chief. Sorry. <laughs> Keeping a close eye on um, the right hand side to see if the secret exit is present, but I'm, I don't think it is. This is just as much enemy spam as the original. I, I, I can't really be mad at that. Alright, Ludwig. Hello, Ludwig. How are you doing? There we are. Nice. Sorry for the short and unenthusiastic stream today. All right, here we go. The gaming begins. Okay, this seems to be 10 times more functional than uh, the other moving platform levels they've done so far. Putting it on the platform was a good idea. And I think that's normally um, a, either a start coin or a roulette block or something up here. No, I'm wrong. Or maybe I'm right, but it's not remade. That's a really cool way of making the double fire bars. Again, it's a little bit janky, but again, this is actually very impressive. It's gonna go as it comes back. There we go. Nice. It's almost like, it's got like a really long first half and then like a really short after the checkpoint. Okay, so it's just a normal 
Magic Cooper, but there was a bunch of stuff going on. I think I should use a winged one, but all right. So we're just gonna kill the normal Magic Cooper. Fair enough. I think a winged one would have been better, so it would have taken two hits. Still pretty cool. They couldn't have really done anything else, and I appreciate adding extra enemies and challenges.